There comes a time in many people's lives where they look around at their life and the situation that they're in, and they just they decide that they're tired of it, and they decide they want to take action. Maybe, they, maybe they're working a, a dead-end job, or they're just not happy with themselves and their prospects relationally or otherwise. They don't like the way they look. They don't like any of these things. And they decide they want to change that. Hey everyone, my name is Christian Verstappen, and I have a lot to say about many things. I want to talk about self-improvement, but more specifically, this video I came across, self-improvement is masturbation. I have not actually watched this video yet. I have no idea who this Ray being person is, or Re being it might be. I don't know. But what I do know, what I do know is that I've been working on self-improvement for a long time myself uh, in the, at the end of 2020, so for almost two years now, I looked at my own life and where I was headed and I said, I am nowhere where I want to be. I'm very far from where I want to be and I need to change that. I realized I, I, wasn't, the kind of, I wasn't the kind of man that was going to attract the kind of uh, woman that I want to. Uh, I wasn't going to go anywhere with my career. I was pursuing a very failed career as an actor and musician, which I could have done if I took the proper steps years ago, but I didn't. And by the time I was 23, I think I was at the time. Yeah, I was 23. I realized I'm going to have to go through years of, of learning and figuring this stuff out to even get to start. So it would it was better to just not do that. And I decided to go this direction uh, with my content, with, um, uh, you know, my, my content and the career path and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I, I changed up my appearance. I, I showed before, and one of these days, I'm going to show you my entire, um, not, not process, but uh, my entire, like, uh, everything I went through as far as how do I phrase this? Um, every, every, everything I went through, or like my 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 progress, uh, my weight loss progress, my weight loss journey, something like that. I'm gonna go over everything that I eat, uh, all the workouts that I did, and how I got from where I was to where I am. I'll go through a bunch of the images to kind of show you the progress, all that good stuff. But I went uh, from this to how I am now. And don't get me wrong, uh, there could have been room to work with that vibe of myself as well. But I think uh, many people even watching this can agree and understand that I look a lot more like an actual adult male. And there are many things that are better about kind of how I present myself now uh, as opposed to how I presented myself back then. The point is that I have had a lot of success with self-improvement, and a lot of people have had success with, success with self-improvement in general. And I know that there's this kind of... <sighs> there's this general understanding, especially online, that... Um, when people are talking about self-improvement and stuff, it's this very, like, pull yourself up by your bootstraps mentality. And I don't agree with that um, kind of self-improvement. I agree it is good to try and improve yourself um, should you want to and do it from a place not of self-hatred but self-love and also do it from a place where you understand that there are things that are going to be obstacles in your way but that you can surpass them and or at least do your best to move forward. But anyway, I wanted to take a look at this video and see see what I think. Fight Club is definitely in my top 5 greatest movies of all time. Especially if you're a man, this movie is must watch for you. There are dozens of videos on YouTube with explanations, analysis, talks, and this video is not going to be one of them. This video will be dedicated to only one quote from the movie. Is that what a man looks like? <laughs> uh, Self-improvement is masturbation. A 
of self-destruction. Really interesting that this is the character saying that, considering spoilers for those that haven't seen a 20-plus-year-old movie yet. But the whole point of Tyler Durden's character, that's the guy in the, in the red jacket here, is very... He's, he's like an alter ego of Edward Norton's character. That's the skinny guy on the left. And the whole point is that he is the envision of everything that Edward's character is. Um, I know this, and I haven't even seen the movie Fight Club. There are many movies that I haven't seen. But um, that's one of them. But I, I'm familiar enough with it to understand the concept of Fight Club and why it's so why it resonates with so many people, especially so many men. But a lot of people really miss the point because from what I understand, you know, a lot of, like, it's about the dangers that a character like this is. He's not a healthy, well, well-adjusted well character. Edward's character looks up to Brad Pitt's character, Tyler Durden, to an extent, uh, a lot actually, but he's not a good dude like at all so it's interesting that this entire video would be focused around self-improvement with masturbation is what is the re-being here what what is their point going to be do they agree um and if they do if you find yourself agreeing with the antagonist that's not really a good thing but whatever we'll 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 see it's in human nature to want to make a progress, but becoming better just for the sake of becoming better, or even worse, showing off to others, will give you nothing but stress and anxiety. Look at people in modern society, all trying to be better versions of themselves, but are they really changing towards it? This ego-boosting self-help industry with its gurus, books, seminars, courses that are promising to change your life is doing nothing but injecting another highly addictive dose of dopamine and a false feeling of accomplishment in your brain. It fuck Okay, just real quick. There is something to be said about the very predatory cult-like practices that a lot of these self-improvement movements and gurus do absolutely employ. There is something to be said for that and the dangers of, of, of falling into those kind of things. But I would argue that improving yourself for yourself is actually the best place that you can be at. It's a place that I'm trying to get at. Look, I'll be completely transparent and say that my main factor to improve myself, to, to get into better shape, to do all these different things, was so that I'd be more attracted to the women that I find attractive. That, that was the, the starting goal, and that is the starting goal for a lot of men. But what you develop over a certain amount of time is you realize you're, you're really doing this for yourself. At the end of the day, you are... Because... So, uh, something you don't want to fall into, that I have definitely fallen into myself many times, is the trap of comparison where you're looking at other people and you're seeing how far they are in their life how much they've achieved how how successful they are how much how uh, how attractive they are how how much money they have um the the kind of people they date you know whatever you want and you see that they have and it's very easy to compare yourself to them but what you really should do is compare yourself to yourself. Uh, some of my favorite content creators, I have them all uh, laid out here on my channel. I wonder if this will actually bring up my channel. Oh, it doesn't, but there I am. I currently have 73 subscribers. I have a new video that just came out uh, at the time of recording as well. Uh, <laughs> this and other videos will be out way after by the time you see this. But I have a section for my channels where we have uh, my favorite channels and subscriptions. If I compared myself 
as a content creator to these people. I look at my measly 73 subscribers. I don't even know what this little thing here is, by the way. It's not my email or anything, so I don't know what this is. But in any case, um, if I compared myself to these guys, I'd be fucked. I got 73 subscribers. But you know what I do compare myself to? Just the other day, I had 69. Nice. Before that, I had 53 for a while. Before that, I had 22. Before that, I had... 11. Before that, I had five. You know, and at some point, of course, I had zero. But every day, I am working. I am putting out this content for people like you. And I am growing that subscriber base. I started, and again, I will go into this more in depth when I talk about my, uh, my weight loss journey in general. I started working out uh, and, and working to lose weight, dieting to lose weight at like 245 pounds, 245, 235, somewhere around there, maybe it was 240, something like that. I lost about 50 pounds in a year and I've been stagnant for most of this year because, well, I just, I got complacent and made some bad decisions. But anyway, I compare myself not to who I was, or sorry, not to people in my life that are doing better than me or other people that I look up to or anything like that, I compare, my, I compare myself now to where I was yesterday. Every week that I step on that scale and I see the number go down, it's down more than it was last week, and that's what matters. Every time I look at my subscriber growth and it's grown, every time I see my viewer count and it's grown, every time I do something that I wouldn't have done before, I approach a woman that I find attractive, that I I might have kind of shied away from before. I sit down to, to sit down to even make this content. Any of the things that I do, I see that I am better today than I was yesterday. And that is a crucial part of real self-improvement that is sustainable and healthy. So I completely disagree that improving yourself for yourself is bad. You should only be improving yourself for yourself. The, the other things you want will come. You know, if you, you, you develop a good body, you become more conventionally attractive, you have all that going for you. The people that you want to attract, that'll come. Uh, you know, you, you have a, uh, uh, you focus on, on maybe getting educated more, getting a better job. Those finances will come. You are a content creator or you're an entertainer of any sort. You're putting your, your work out, you're working hard, you're grinding. The results will come, but you have to keep at it. And you, you, you can't compare yourself or be... Like, you want to have a goal in mind, but you don't want to be so fixated on the goal that you're not even focused on today. That's, a, that's an issue that I struggle with for, well, un, until about a year or so ago. I have a friend who's helping me with a lot of this stuff, and I've talked about this before too. I'm going to plug him again because he's an awesome dude. Uh, one of my best friends who is personally helping me on my own uh, self-improvement journey, Logan TLK. Uh, TLK stands for Think Like Kings. Uh, oh, he actually has, from improving, t uh, improving for girls to improving for me. I haven't watched this video yet, but um, yeah, he's been helping me get my shit together. Uh, he's a really cool dude. He's also only got 61 subs, guys. Let's fix that. Let's get him some more subs. I don't really have a few more, but hey, if any of you are interested in this kind of content, I would say non-toxic male self-improvement. Uh, give him a look. I think, you, I think you'd like this content. Anyway, I did it again. I do this shit all the fucking time. One of my best friends, Logan TLK. The uh, TLK stands for Think Like Kings, as he has here. Um, oh, he actually has a new video from improving for girls to improving for me. I haven't watched this yet. Um, but no, he's a very good dude. He's helping me in my own journey. And he, I would definitely, I definitely recommend his content. Check it out. Uh, he's only got 61 subs. So I know I only have like 13, 12 more than that. So, you know, I know it's not much, but you know, if you want to see non-toxic male self-improvement stuff, give him a look. He's, he's, he's got good shit.
But anyway, yeah, no, that, that sums it up right there. You want to be improving for yourself, not improving for girls or for money or stat or anything, right? Th that, those things will come and that's good. sucks <laughs> if you'll be struck honest with yourself you will see that nothing is changing in you yes you'll feel motivated for a good two days but then you'll be back to the same person and the only change will be you'll have at least couple hundreds bucks less on your bank account the self-help industry is one of the most profitable e-commerce industries in the world it he's right about okay god this is I'm glad I'm covering this because this guy isn't technically wrong as far as most people that get into self-help, especially the self-help gurus and stuff that they have to pay shit tons of money for. Yeah, they don't end up actually making a life change because they make it sound so easy and they, they don't really work through the pro. I mean, look, how many times have you had a situation where you've been like super motivated to do something and you do it for maybe a, a couple of days, maybe a week, maybe even a month. And you're like, nah, fuck it. This isn't for me. I'm not getting the results I want. This isn't, you know, this isn't for me. If you have been in that situation, you're not alone. Most people are in that situation, but most people stop there. You don't want to do that. You don't want to just stop when you're there, so to speak. You want to work toward your goals. Again, don't fixate on them. Don't, don't have blinders where you're, you're, you're fixated on them, but you want to focus on your, you want to, you want to focus on your goals. No, you want to, you want to have your goals in mind. But you don't, you want to, I'm sorry, this is not, I'm trying to think of the right way to say this. The problem is a lot of people get into self-improvement and they, they think that it's like immediately going to fix their life. They think it's like something they have to do for a short amount of time and then boom, everything's going to change. No. Real self-improvement, actually taking your life into your own hands and making yourself better today than you were yesterday, is an ongoing process. Every day, you are trying to be better than you were yesterday. And if you're not, don't sweat it. We're humans. We all make mistakes. That's fine. But you can try again tomorrow. I've missed days where I didn't go to the gym. I've, I've, I've missed days where... I didn't eat properly or I ate a little more than I should have or something like that or I, I didn't track properly or, you know, all these different things, right? But I don't let those minor setbacks prevent me from doing anything at all. And you can't allow them to do that to you either. But the problem is a lot of people get into the self-improvement stuff and they think, it, they think it's going to be like that. Like they just make a change and then immediately everything's going to just be fixed in their life. And that's not the way it is. Self-improvement is a lifestyle. It's, it's a process that you're going through for your life to make your life better. It is not a one and done situation. And a lot of people look at it that way. And that is extremely harmful. That's how you get into this kind of stuff that RE being is talking about. It feels like a lot of what we're taught by these self-help things is to prove or to show that we're better candidates for work, school, or relationships. We all should analyze ourselves and the roots of our desires. I'm not saying that you should not read or grow as a person. I'm saying that today it's commercialized. And if there is a promise of a drastic change in your life after reading a certain book or attending a seminar, it's a lie. I say never be complete. I say stop being perfect. I say look, let's evolve. Let the chips fall where they may. The path to your best self does not come- By the way, I don't remember who this guy is off the top of my head, this, this guy on screen. But I do remember I actually do like some of his content. I know I'm subscribed to him, but I don't remember who he is. Sorry, dude. 
come from reading the bestseller slick oh he has it right here car clark kegley yeah he's a pretty good dude power of now from what i've seen or attending tony i think this is tony robbins tony robbins seminars yep. it comes from destroying your ego destroying the sense that you're some way or another special and most important realizing that comfort is not the ultimate goal in life is this essential to our survival in the hunter-gatherer sense of the word no what are we then? consumers right simply if you're exercising don't exercise because you want to meet some bs standards exercise to build a better connection with your body tyler durden's self-destruction comment um i get what he's saying but i don't know if i like the framing of that don't exercise to build this standard exercise to build a better body i get it but i i i kind of disagree because what i would say is if you have a goal for how you want to be this kind of goes back to like you can you can have goals having goals is good but you don't want to be so fixated on them that that's like all you're worried about so you can exercise to improve your body to get more muscular to get more lean whatever it is and if you want to say that that's building a better connection with your body that's fine but i mean i don't know if i like the way that sounds because that almost is not it's almost antithetical to actually improving i mean i can build a connection with my body through um, working out, if I'm just lifting the same weights all the time, I say, yep, I can lift 15 pounds and that's as much as I can lift. Or I can keep going back and I do this every week, not every day. I did it for every day for a bit and that was too much. Uh, every week that I go, raise the intensity. All right, I, I did 15 last time, I'm doing 20 now, I'm doing 25, you know, so on and so forth, right? And you can do that too. But it all depends. Oh, well, it depends on a myriad of things, really, but I get, I don't know. I, I, I get what he's saying. I, I just don't like the, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't like the framing of that, but I understand what he means. Doesn't mean to harm ourselves in an unhealthy way. He's suggesting to destroy our egos and consumers mentality that is chaining us to the patterns that are keeping us in our current position. Self-distraction for Durden means destroying the concept of self, destroying the idea that the world is spinning around you. He's speaking about bettering from eternal, enlightenment, skills, mindset development, and disregards the external, consumer goods, and people approval. Self-distraction is the real way to improve oneself because self-distraction shows who you really are in different situations as self-improvement only this guy's called alpha m he's uh he's all right from what i know he's not fantastic but he's uh he's he's he's, he's okay he's a he's a pretty good dude overall from what i've seen ups one's ego this idea is the main idea in buddhist teachings yourself and the things that you experience are an illusion the main goal in life is to achieve a nirvana state where you are detached from the earthy cravings and meaningless things. self -imp I mean, that's your goal if that's what you want out of life, but if you want... See, okay, oh my god. Oh, uh, like, this is like the biggest... Okay, so... I have a philosophy. My main philosophy for living in the world is that there is not a one-size-fits-all way to live life however you choose to live your life as long as you aren't hurting anybody is completely valid if you want to be completely detached from the world and not worry about a thing more power to you fantastic but if you're somebody who wants certain external values you value relationships with other people you value the comforts of life. You value these different things. 
that is valid as well. If you're somebody who doesn't even want any of that, maybe you're somebody who you do just want to accumulate wealth, sit on it, and, and have it so that it can protect you, so to speak, should anything really bad happen. By all means, do that. I wouldn't live my life that way. I don't necessarily suggest people live their life that way, but however you want to live, as long as you are not causing harm to other people, fucking do it. Like, it doesn't matter. And if, 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 if to get to your goals, it will require self-improvement, do it. I knew that I wanted to do this kind of content for a hot minute. Uh, basically, uh, throughout 2020, the, the, kind of, the spark was kind of ignited, and I decided, you know what, I actually really like doing this. And, and I, was, I was doing a podcast with a friend, which we'll, I'll start up, we, we will start up again at some point in the near-ish future. Um, but I realized that one of my issues, if I was going to make content like this, I wanted to be in front of a camera like this. I wanted to be talking to you guys. I didn't like the way that I looked at all. I, I, was, I wasn't anywhere close to where I wanted to be, where I felt like I could present myself on camera and I would be proud of what I looked like. Put simply, I was too fat. Now, I've never actually been fat per se, only a little bit chubby, a little bit chunky. But to get to my goal, which was to do this kind of content, one of the things that I had to do was get into better shape. To get to the goal, another goal that I have of effortlessly attracting women that I find attractive, one thing that will, it won't be the only thing, but a big thing that will help is being in better shape. I've talked about this before, but for me specifically, I'm going for more of a toned, leaned body. To be more conventionally attractive, both for women and for society at large, because let's be real, pretty privileged, the halo effect, all of that are real, I need to be more conventionally attractive. Now, are any of these things against things that I inherently believe or want to do? Are, do these cause me any, like, major anxiety to even try these things or like i i want to push against it um or anything like that not at all so for me taking the appropriate steps to achieve my goals is what i wanted to do what i needed to do so to speak in order to achieve my goals which is ultimately just to be happy like i mean that's my main goal that's what i think most human beings actual goal is it's just what are the things you want that make you happy? There is a great, um, and again, I'm not going to play it, but there's a great scene from a movie that I really like called The Big Lebowski, where the main character, or no, I shouldn't even say scene, a quote really, where the main character frequently throughout it, he says, the dude abides. And what that means, and, and his entire philosophy is essentially, he is totally chill with just not, not, striving for not achieving anything in his life and just existing just being comfortable if that's how you want to live your life that is fine that is valid again as long as you are not hurting other people but if you want to achieve a life of greater standing so to speak right if you want to have a larger social pool, a larger pool for romantic or sexual partners, if you want to have um, a, a larger likelihood of people listening to you and taking you seriously, when you talk about important issues like what I do, you are going to have to take steps to reach those goals. I've been taking those steps. I'm still taking those steps. I'm in the process every day of taking those steps. I will never stop taking those steps because there's no end. There's no, there's no finish line. Um, my favorite band, All Time Low, in an interview, they were asked, when is the end point for you guys? Like, when, when do you feel like you've made it, like you're done? And the lead singer, Alex, responded, there isn't one. We're, we're just going to keep going until, you know, until we can't go anymore. There's no, like, oh, that's it, we're done, you know? Because when we've reached that point, I guess we're going to quit being a band. You know, he said something like that. I'm paraphrasing. But 
whatever you value in life, whatever you, whatever your goal is, if there if there's an endpoint for you, that's great. If once you've accumulated enough stuff to be comfortable, that's where you're happy. Fantastic. But if in any way, shape, or form you want to have more, so to speak, I know I'm using I'm saying so to speak a lot. That is perfectly valid too. As long as you aren't hurting other people and whatever it is, go for what you want out of life because what works for one person doesn't work for somebody else. What works for me might not work for this RE being guy. Uh, what works for them might not work for you watching this. What works for me might not work for you watching this. What you do might not work for me, so on and so forth. So I just want to, a lot of people get, are we lagging? Hello? We're lagging. Are we good? Okay. A lot of people get really touchy about this. A lot of people uh, really try to push this narrative that like, it has to be one way or the other. You, you'll have this where, like, there are sections, we'll say, of, of, of uh, feminism, where people will think that just because... Basically, like, any woman that decides to have a more traditional lifestyle is, like, anti-feminist and they're hurting the movement and stuff like that, when the whole point is that it's supposed to be a choice. If you want to live your life in a more traditional way, have at it. You know, same thing with, like, you can be, um, I don't know, there, there, there's just, mm, there's a lot that goes into this. People are, like, are weird about this when it comes to, like, you know, uh, bi, bisexual or pan people as well, especially if they end up in a uh, cis-hetero relationship. You know, there's a lot of stuff that, that goes into these things, but, yeah. Whatever you want out of life. Whatever's going to make you happy, fucking do it. And if you have to take more steps than somebody else, harder steps than somebody else to get to that goal, whatever. Do what you can to reach your goals. And uh, again, as long as you're not hurting anybody along the way, you do you. Improvement is masturbation. And the parallel is clear. You're still fundamentally alone and miserable. You're now wasted time for a small burst of pleasure. Our modern self-improvement is just pointless. It's once you lose everything, you are free to do anything. Those who have the least to lose are ones who win. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. Oh, there are things says up here, rebel spirit. I wonder, yeah, right here. I wonder, can I zoom in on that? Yeah, look at that, rebel spirit. I wonder if there's some kind of like, I don't know, like spirit, science, and manifestation will ruin your life, death of mainstream. What? Oh, God. Oh, this is the first video they did. They just started um, a while ago. Huh. Providence is God. Do you have superhuman gone? Theories of metaphysics, du dualism, and monism. New Age of extremist incels. Lonely Man Revolution. Degeneracy of mainstream. Why? What what what's degenerative? Okay, just real quick on this. Um, I kind of touched on this in my um video about nostalgia and how it's basically bullshit. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. The idea that uh, mainstream music is terrible now and music was so much better back in the good old days and all that shit is completely fabrication. Uh, if you look at the top music, the stuff that'll carry on today that'll be really popular, uh, the stuff that isn't uh, is not going to make it. There have always been one-hit wonders. Uh, there have always been things like that. And but, but this is a whole other thing. Look, I'll tell you what. If you want me... Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to cover any of these other videos, because I may do. I may do. 
Yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Theories of metaphysics, dualism and monism of a persona. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, let me know if you if you'd like me to cover any of this other stuff because I again I get what he's saying, but he he definitely seems like one of those woo woo kind of you know crystal <laughs> whatever kind of people. Um, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, like I said, just look, live your best life. And whatever you need to do to get there, uh, as long as that is not hurting other people, fucking do it. At the same time, whatever your best life is, that can only really be defined by yourself. If you're somebody who wants a stable, uh, just you and one other person relationship, by all means. If you're somebody who wants to remain single, if you're somebody who wants to travel the world with or without somebody else, if you're somebody who wants to work a nine to five, if you're somebody who wants to go and be a monk at some monastery, whatever it is, do it. As long as you are not hurting other people, whatever you do is perfectly valid. So, as always, these are just my thoughts. Let me know what yours are in the comments down below. Follow me on social media for more. Subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. Leave a like if you like. And if not, I hope you find something to do like. Later, guys. Peace and love.